Well, good morning. Everybody good? Everybody lovely? Everybody's fair? We left three back there, but they'll be all right. They're not as cool. They're not the cool kids this morning, okay? They're cool. They're just not cool this morning, right? Okay, well, good. Well, you know, there's a TV show years ago that I thought was really cool. It, it, it was a good show, and then I got to thinking about it, and then maybe not so much. It's called Extreme Home Makeover. You ever heard of Extreme Home Makeover? They even had a children's edition to where brothers and sisters would swap rooms and they would clean up their own room. Well, I got to, to thinking about that, and the older I got, I got to looking at those pictures. You know what they did for Extreme Makeover? They would come in and they would fix your house. But they would only fix the surface. They might add a coat of paint. They might change a couple of doors out. They might change the windows they changed it basically from the outside. You know, I'm old and a country boy, so bear with me. You ever heard the statement, lipstick on a pig? You put lipstick on a pig, but guess what? It's still a pig. But that's kind of what they did to these old houses. They, they fixed them up, but it was only from the outside. On the inside, it was still an old house. Now, it was a good show, and it, 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 it had its purposes. But I got to thinking about the Bible. You know, the Bible's got to restore. Yeah, we'll talk about it more later. You know, you didn't know the Bible had an extreme home makeover? Oh, yeah, his, his oh, got it right here. Yeah, his name's Jesus. Now, the difference between Jesus and the extreme home makeover show was Jesus wants to fix us from the inside out. He wants to tear this old wall down, replace all the studs, Put the wall back, then he wants to paint it. He wants to fix us from the bottom up. He wants to fix us from the inside out. You don't believe me? Really? You don't believe that? Well, let's, don't believe me. Let's trust God's word. There, for, uh, 2, Corinthians chapter, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. When Jesus, all things become new. It's not putting a coat of paint on a wall and saying that's good enough. Jesus wants to fix us from the inside out. Here in a little minute, we're going to talk about a man that Jesus fixed from the inside out. Until then, let's sing and glorify His God name one more time. You want to? Let's pray. Most loving, gracious God, thank you. Thank you as an old boy that you fixed me from the inside. And Father, sometimes I need fixing on the inside, even today. So I want to thank you for the time that you're going to fix me and the time in the future to come, Father. Make me whole from the inside out so that I'm not a pig with a lipstick, that I'm a child of yours and that the world may know. Bless these kids and bless this church service in Jesus' name. Amen. 